Hey, I'm Nicolette Amarius. I'm a strength coach and a posture and movement specialist. Thank you for being here. Today we're going over a bent over row with a barbell supported by the bench. Now this is a variation of the bent over row that puts you in a more supported position in case your posterior chain, the back side of your body, like your low back, your glutes, and your hamstrings are feeling a little too fatigued to be able to hold yourself in the bent over row without support. So that means you could use this if, let's say you're in a high volume program where you have a lot of hinging, maybe a lot of a deadlifting, a lot of bent over rows, and by the end of your workout, your back is really tired and you wanna be able to pull weight, but you can't quite keep yourself in that hinge position or that bent over position shape safely, this is a great way to do it. Or if you're someone who's learning how to stay in that bent over position, this is a way to get yourself strong enough to eventually be able to be in that bent over position. I also have a version where you can use dumbbells or handles with your cable machine, and I'll link that in the description of this video. Okay, so today we're going over the barbell version. Now there's two versions we could do with the barbell. We could do supinated, which is means palms face up, so think like holding a bowl of soup, or pronated, palms face down. I'm gonna show you both. Let's go. To get into position, you'll sit right at the end of the bench, so where the, uh, the bench curves. From here, scoop forward and then bring your knees back and then tuck in your toes, because when you come forward, you'll be able to anchor your feet, anchor your feet into the floor for more stability. You'll grab the bar. I'm gonna show you first the supinated version. So my palms are gonna face up. A little wider than my shoulders. Shoulders are back, chest is open, and then chin is tucked. I want you to have your forehead all the way on the bench, but just for the sake of being able to hear me, I'm gonna keep my forehead off of the bench. From here, pull your shoulders back, lift and open your chest. Turn the weight on. Now you'll pull the bar all the way to the bench, pausing right at the bench with a little isolation in the back, and then extend forward. When we supinate our grip, we are highlighting a little bit more of the biceps than we would in a pronated grip. Slide the shoulders back and open up the chest. Keep the core drawn in and keep the chin tucked. Aim the elbows for where the wall meets the ceiling, so not quite right behind you and not up to the ceiling. I'll show you a couple with my chin tucked. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the pronated version. With the pronated version, you could have your arms narrow, just like I was with the supinated, or you can come out wide. So I'll start with the narrow, which is basically just barely wider than my shoulders. Weight comes on. Same idea here. Same form cues, same technique, but your palms are facing down. Now if you want to try wider, wider the movement changes a little bit. So I'm gonna come pretty wide, wider than my shoulders, and this time my elbows are gonna come wide with me. So squeezing the shoulder blades together, shoulders stay down. This one, it is easier to start shrugging. So try to engage the lats and pull the elbows, or pull the shoulders down so the elbows can come wide. 20 pounds might actually be a little heavy for me for this movement, but let's try it. Chin is tucked, elbows wide. Squeezing between the shoulder blades. Woo, feeling that burn. Just like the other ones, pulling all the way toward the bench. Weight goes off, set it down. So just to review those grips, supinated would be here, pronated here, and then wide pronated here. So notice a big difference, right, between this version and this version. Elbows come out wide and you really start to feel the muscles in between the shoulder blades. I hope you liked it. I hope that you find it useful and you try it out. If you do, let me know. And I hope to see you soon.